What's going on, everybody? Scott Hogan coming at you here tonight. We are going to set up and take a look at our games from 2022. We're going to take it over to 2023. So we're creating a game plan. We're going to take it a little bit into the classroom and start getting you ready to play your best golf. Let's do it. What is going on, everybody? Scott Hogan here. We are doing our last live show of 2022. All right, this is the Scott Hogan Golf Show. Thank you so much for tuning in. Excited to be here. Hopefully, everybody, you have had a good Christmas. You had a good holiday season. If it's still going on, enjoying it as well. And uh, I'm always excited because when we get past the holidays, we got the uh, Century Tournament of Champions coming right around the corner, and then we've got our games, you know, and when we're going to be playing golf, coming around the corner as well. So we're going to have a ton of stuff going on, and make sure you don't miss out on it. Click that subscribe button if you are not a subscriber already. Got a very good video starting off the year next year, plus some really cool tools, which I'm going to mention a couple of them tonight, okay? So we're going to go through all of that. Now, first things first, when we get into... We want to play better golf next year, okay, and see what we can do. We have to review. We have to look at what's going on previously in what's going on, right? We have to say, all right, hey, this is how things went for us, right? So when we go through this, we're going to take a little break, and we're going to look at and break down our game. So that means we got to head a little bit into the classroom. So Let's head over to the whiteboard and let's do that. All right, so we're looking at it here, okay? So we've got the board up. We've got our 2023 game plan here, okay? Now, if we're gonna be making a game plan, there's a couple of things that we need to be able to do. And I'm gonna go through, I've got some stats from my game. So I'm gonna show you how I do this with my game and then you can use this with your game, okay? So first things first, we are gonna have to set some goals. OK, you always have to set goals when you're looking at your golf game. Now, if we're going to set goals, a couple of things that you have to know. One, your goals have to be measurable. OK, so you have to be able to measure it, not just, oh, I think I did this. That doesn't work. Not, oh, I, you know, I need to improve this. How do you know that? OK, okay. we are human beings. We are not the most sensible. Get on Twitter if you don't believe me. All right. So we tend to be a little bit biased just a little bit, and we tend to look at things from our own lens and what we want, okay? So we have to be able to measure it. We have to be able to define the goal, okay? We have to be able to say, hey, I can make this goal extremely defined. I am going to do something, and it's going to be very specific. And then it has to have a timetable, okay? You have to have a timetable when you are going through your goals, okay? So when we look at my stats, from this past year, okay? You can see I use an app called Spider Golf. We've got that pulled up here. This is gonna be my rounds that were competitive, okay? So for me, competitive rounds, one of my goals is I wanna play better in tournaments, okay? Now, that is not a good goal though, okay? Why? Well, is it measurable? How do I play better in tournaments? We don't know. Is it defined? Kinda, but not really. And what's the timetable? Well, kind of have that. That's next year, right? So I want to be ready to play by the time we get to our, uh, you know, our opening events, which is beginning of April-ish, right? So, okay, I got a timetable at least. Got to get that. But we got to come up with something better. So for me, what I'm going to look at is the way I'm going to be able to determine, hey, I've played better in tournaments is I want to finish in what the top 35 of our standings okay so i'm going to write that down and we use an app to do this with our players but i'm going to do that okay now to do that i think i'm going to have to average okay average under 77 strokes 
That's my guess in those rounds, okay? I need to average that. And so how am I going to do that, okay, right? So I need to average under 77 strokes. I need to have a top 35. That's gonna be it. So we've got some goals. And that means if I'm gonna be top 35, I need to be ready to go by April. You know, it's like the second week of April, okay? That top 35 at the end of September gets you into a special tournament here in Illinois for our Illinois PGA, okay? So we've got that and we've got it started. Now you can see on my stats here, my scoring average last year, 77.5. Not bad. It was a little inflated with a couple of bad weather ones. I feel like I got a little bit when I was playing my best also. We had some tournaments canceled. So, uh, you know, that's the luck of the draw. That's just what you got to deal with. But now we've got to start coming through and going through a plan. So this is where you got to keep some sort of record of what's going on. Now, you don't have to do something as detailed as this right? You don't have to be as detailed as this, but you have to have some way to tell if you're getting better. So what I use is a, a category called strokes gain. If you follow PGA Tour, LPJ, this is an important one. The reason we use strokes gain is it tells you based on the shots you've hit, how well you've hit them, right? So if I'm hitting a bunch of three woods and I'm hitting them in like, you know, off the fairway, okay, that's obviously not good, but if I'm hitting a bunch of drivers and I'm bombing the heck out of it and I'm hitting it off the fairway just a little bit, that's better than somebody that's hitting a three wood way shorter, but you know, not getting the distance and they're missing the fairways, right? So you would, a lot of times we would compare that in the past and say, oh, look at this. We have somebody that hits 50% of fairways. They both hit 50%, but not all 50% is equal, okay? So when we look at my stats, okay, if you go through the categories, what I like is this app will break it down um, you can see off the tee, okay, um, lost a stroke, stroke and a quarter, okay, a little bit of a concern there. I know through going through the rounds, a lot of that is from penalty strokes. I actually drove the ball decent except for the occasional shot where it's like, all right, you hit it offline and you hit it out of play, you're taking a drop, um, or you had to punch out. That happened a couple of times. Again, one of those I know was in a extremely windy round, but another one was when we played at Chicago Golf Club. I hit it in too many bunkers, and I had to just essentially punch it out or blast out of the bunker, which is essentially a penalty shot. Okay, so that would be what we got. From there, you can see long shots, and this is, by the way, strokes gained to a plus three handicap. This is not the PGA Tour or even the mini tours. Plus three handicap, okay? So I'm, a, I'm a right around a zero, so I wanna get onto that plus side. Um, you can see my long shots, okay, actually pretty good. And that's like 175 and beyond out to about 225, 230. So you can see actually I hit those really well. I'm actually very good at those. I think a lot of that has to come, comes from my expectations and how I kind of handle them. I don't really expect too much out of them. And then I think that ends up playing to my advantage. Um, approach to the green, not bad, right around even. Could be a little better. I think especially on the wedge play portion, which we'll go over that in a sec. Um, and then you can see around the green, this is where a lot of those shots are going to come from. Definitely my worst category is around the green. So inside that 30 yard category. Okay. And then putting really going to be struggling there. Um, had some bad three putts, stuff like that. But uh, again, we'll go through that. So let's break it down a little further. Let's go through all the distances. You can see with putting really, really, really struggled from that six to 10 foot range. Didn't make a whole lot of shots. You can see right in the middle there. Um, and then you can see a little bit on the longer kind of mid-range-ish end as well, losing about a stroke in that 10 to 13. Honestly, just not making a lot of putts from like six to 15 feet. Like you're not making a ton of them, but I at least got to make some, right? So that could be a combination of things. It could be my ability to um, put the ball in a good spot to have a good run from those distances. Or honestly, I feel like I just, kind of didn't hit them very good when I was going through those rounds, right? So definitely got to look at that and see what's going on, okay? Then we go into short game. You can see 30 yards and in, absolutely abysmal. I've talked about that on the channel. That's pretty much where everything is at. Um, I'm pretty good on the rest of them, not losing too many, just kind of tightening it up a little bit. Maybe a few more where we hit it real close, but not too bad, not too bad as we go through. And then, like I said, getting pretty good as we go on the long end of the badge. So what do I need to do? What do we take away from this? So again, we have to have a measurable goal, measurable goal. Okay. So what is our measurable goal? Well, let's go to our stats. I'm going to look at, 
around the green, okay? I'm at negative two point, we'll call it two and a half, okay? I want that to get to zero, okay? That is one of those things I feel like with around the green, it's not a physical thing. It's more of I need to just work at it, right? Like I need to work at it. I got to get some help with that, okay? So that's going to be one. Putting. Again, let's get that to zero. Right there, that cuts off five shots, okay? So if I work on my goals, right? It's just a math problem. If I work on my goals and I do just these two things and I just maintain the rest, which means just kind of keep things going, right? You just don't have to do too much. I don't have to break anything. I don't have to do anything weird. I just have to keep, you know, hit balls once in a while and keep, keep that same feeling about it. Will I get to my goal? Yep, I will. So I have a plan now of what I'm going to do. Now, can I add things to this? Absolutely. I want to be able to make sure that, you know, hey, can I get more out of driving a little better? Absolutely. We can do that. Okay. So those are things that we can look at as we're going through all of this. Okay. So you can see as we, we look at our games, right, and we're looking at everything, you have to come up with a plan and it has to make sense. Now, on my site, and we'll have some videos going forward as well, we do this. This is for my level, right, of getting to, hey, I want to be around under that 77 mark. I want to be even pushing par, right, on in the comp competition environment. So we need to be able to do that, okay? We can do that for your level as well. And again, we will have that available on our sites and everything. Hey, you wanna break 90. These are your numbers and these are your goals that you need to be able to do. Same thing for 80, 70, you know, 75. You have goals that you are trying to get better at, okay? So again, it has to be measured, it has to be timed, and you really have to define the goal as you go. So I haven't even really fully defined these yet, but hey, I've got a really good idea of what I need to be able to do. So let's keep going through it. Again, we are breaking it down for 2023. So let's head over, let's get in the simulator. We're gonna talk a little bit more about how I'm gonna to get to my goals that we just set here and let's get better, all right? So here we go. We're gonna talk a little bit. So we said, all right, short game is an issue for me. Again, you've, you've heard me talk about this. That is not the most shocking statement to me, okay? I already knew that. Obviously, I'm checking my stats and everything throughout. So the first thing we have to do, okay, as we start defining goals, okay, we have to start saying, all right, what's your plan that's going to make that better? Okay, well, what would make me get those strokes gained down? Okay, so let's talk about short game first. You know, obviously we know with putting, it's making more putts from those key distances that will get you strokes gained. It's avoiding three putts, okay? Need to work on that. So if you think about what that is, I can come up with a practice plan with that, okay? Now, short game, what could it be? Well, it can be either one of two things. It can be a mechanical issue or it can be a performance issue, okay? Now, we have to make sure both aren't, aren't broken, right? I have to have the mechanics that will allow me to be able to perform at that level, right? So to be able to perform at a plus three handicap level, that's, that's pretty good mechanics, right? So I need to be able to hit the shot pretty good, okay? So that's where we can come in, and my plan is to start identifying something and looking at things to work on. Now, this is where you can get help from a swing coach, okay? That's what I do, okay? Believe it or not, even us PJ pros, we get help on our own games because we know it's not a smart idea to look at your own game. Hard to do it. Let's go back to what we talked about at the start. Very difficult to be unbiased. Very difficult to uh, kind of give yourself the benefit of the doubt on certain things and not give yourself the benefit of the doubt on other things. So it can be an issue. So what we like to do or what I like to do is I like to have somebody else take a look. What do you think? Okay. Now, in my short game, I know the biggest issue I had was I literally couldn't hit the green. It's a pretty big problem to have, right? So I need to see shots that can just get that ball onto the green. So what does that mean? All right, well, I need shots that can make the ball pop in the air. 
Well, if you watched our last video on the channel about launch monitors, where is my lowest point need to be when I'm hitting a ball that is off the ground? Well, it's going to be somewhere in front of the ball. Okay, it's going to be somewhere in front of the ball. Now, with short game, it doesn't have to be super in front of the ball. It can be pretty close to zero. Okay, but especially if you're kind of struggling, I really need to get on that front side. So for me, it comes down to some technique. All right, let's get leaning forward a little bit, just like we do in our full swing. We got to move forward, get everything moving forward. Well, in short game, I'm just going to preset it. Okay, from there, because I'm not moving a whole lot, from there, I can just move my body and hit the shot and get it to pop up into the air. Okay, I didn't do that. Okay, now if we pull that up, okay, you can see that shot, not too bad, a little deep, only 22 yards, I hit it 25, so that's nine feet, that's not gonna be great, but as far as hitting the shot, okay, now I can put it up in the air and see that ball land nice and softly onto the putting surface, okay, so we like to see that as we go. Now, you're going to say, well, hey, Scott, that's pretty simple. It is. It is, right? Um, the thing is, we now have to know, hey, is this a level that is going to work? So, okay, I can hit the shot, but is the performance there? Well, what's that performance going to look like for my level? If you're a 90 shooter, honestly, if you can get the ball on the green within 10, 15, 20 feet, you're going to be where you need to be, okay? You can do that. Now, if you're missing greens and chunking shots right in front of your feet, that's a huge problem. We got to work on that. For me, I need to get the ball to a point where we need to get up and down once in a while. How much? Actually, it's going to be around 50%, but again, it's going to depend on the type of shot that I'm hitting, right? If I put myself in a bunch of bad spots, that's a different story. But I need to be getting to a, a spot where, all right, I need to get up and down. Well, Where's the distance that I start making putts? Well, let's go back to my stats. Six feet and out, man, it falls off in a hurry. So I need to be getting that ball within six feet. And if we look at my stats, if we brought those back up, inside three feet, I am, I didn't, it doesn't show me that I missed, okay? So, and I can't remember one in case I did, but we're really doing good at that part, okay? So if I can chip the ball closer, we can get there. So now in my practice, what I can work on is, all right, let's hit these chips. And now I just don't want to get it on the green. I need to get that ball within that yellow circle. Okay. I need to get the ball within the yellow circle so I can keep working on that. You can see, all right, hey, you know, instead of me saying, all right, I've got, I've got this down, I'm hitting good shots. What I'm actually looking at is saying, all right, instead of just hitting good shots, it's like, man, I'm actually still not very good at this. Okay, and this is where practice will come in. I'm still not very good at this because I can't get the ball within my desired distance. Okay, so that's where having this defined goal of like, all right, I need to be able to practice. My technique's got to be good enough. Right now I'm hitting good shots, so the technique's got to be good. But now I need to work on can I control it enough to get that ball inside of that yellow circle? And we're creeping up on it, but we're still not doing very good, right? So that's the key, and that's where I want you to set up and say, all right, hey, how am I going to get better? It doesn't matter that, hey, it's hard right now. I'm not doing it. It's day one. It's not even day one. It's not even 2023 yet. Okay. If you set a goal that you can do already, you're not going to get much better, right? So we need to see that as we are going through. Okay. So that is something that I like to see as we are going through all of this. Okay. So I like to see, hey, we can get better. We are going to be able to improve our games. Now, the last thing that we can do. And again, this applies to all areas. I'm just showing you mine. Okay. I'm going through how my process looks. Okay. Now the last thing that we can do, okay, is we can actually, again, we've got to kind of be able to measure 
and define things, right? Okay. So we can actually look at from a performance standpoint, right? So like, hey, right there, I was having an issue. I had, couldn't get that ball onto my target. Now, is there an issue with my performance, my mind, right? We all know this is a mental game. Well, we're going to find out, okay? So we can actually measure and define this. So we've got a device. I'll have more on this device coming later. But I've used this. This is just an EEG. I think some people call them EKGs or whatever, but EEG. And what this is, is just going to be a headband, okay? You get to look real cool when you do this, okay? You can see once I put that guy on, I've got a light up here, okay? So what that light is signaling, okay, is you're going to see a color. It's blue right now saying I'm pretty relaxed, but it, I just put it on, so we've got to let it kind of settle in. You're going to see it just changed to yellow, meaning I'm kind of in this neutral spot. And then as we go through, it'll actually, if we start thinking a ton and getting kind of everything going, and the more and more I'm doing this, you can see it just turned to red. I'm, my head, I'm thinking a ton right now, okay? So what we can do is I can actually work on how well am I able to kind of focus and how well am I able to relax, right? So if I put this in here, I'm gonna actually set this down where I can see it. Okay. And so we're working on it and the goal being, we wanna get into a calmer mindset, right? I wanna to get to where it's like, all right, hey, if I'm gonna, I can hit it, my technique's good. I have a goal, but I'm having a hard time doing it. Well, now I gotta work on performing better. So this is where something we can do is actually work on getting a little bit calmer, okay? So I'm gonna hit a shot here as we go. Okay, feeling it, I, I can tell I was not in the zone there. I'm kind of on the low end, okay? So I'm not 100% getting my, my head wrapped around it and focused. So let's pull it up so you can see it, okay? So, as we go through, you can see it. Not gonna be able to see me, but you can see the band working. Okay, getting a little higher. And you can see I was a little bit higher on that one. Okay, and hey, we hit a better shot, right? Got a better shot out of this. So what are we doing here? We're obviously working on, hey, are you in a state of, hey, I can hit this shot? And again, these are things that we can define. How many times can you hit shots? You can actually use the app. This is called a Focus Calm Headband. I'll have more about this. But these are the types of things that we do to make sure we are, hey, I can hit these shots. And I can, again, we can define, hey, how many times are you in the state where, hey, you can hit good, hit good golf shots, okay? So again, that's something we can look at as we go. So for me and what we're working on, what I wanna see this year is I wanna see people coming out with plans, right? I want people to get better. There's, there's a reason that handicaps, we have more technology, we have more stuff available, but handicaps do not go down. If anything, the latest has shown it went up slightly. Okay, think about that. You know, how many people are playing and stuff and all that, and they're playing a lot and practicing a lot, okay? that's that's an issue, right? That just keeps happening. It is actually going up. That's because when we're practicing, we don't have plans. We don't have things going on. This is something I do with all my competitive players, but I do it with all my regular players too. I'm, you know, anybody that co takes coaching for me, I'm always asking. They always come in and say, I need to work on this. Well, I'm always going to ask questions. All right, what do you do? What do you shoot? How do you do this? Trying to get to some concrete numbers instead of just your opinion. I want, let's figure out what you actually got going on and we'll go from there, okay? So that's gonna be our goals for the rest of 2022. That's what I wanted to leave with you tonight. I know it's uh, something that's a little different, something that you've probably never done, but nobody ever does it. So, you know, gotta work on that, but get yourself a plan and start working on that plan. So your homework for the upcoming week in the next couple of weeks as we're getting ready to get back into it. You gotta start thinking about your game how are you going to come up with a plan? What are you going to work on? And your plan might be, hey, I'm just going to, to take notes on my game. I'm just going to track it. That's fine. But we need to do something that's going to make us get better. 
We don't want to stay the same in 2023, okay? That's not the idea. So that's where uh, we want to go, okay? Definition of ineptitude. You do the same thing over and over again and expect different results, okay? It's not insanity, by the way. It's ineptitude, right? So make that plan, get better. We're going to have a good 2023, all right? One more video coming up this week, plus one more live. Make sure you click that subscribe button if you are not a subscriber already. And we will see everybody in future videos. Thank you, everybody, for a great 2022. It's been an awesome year. We're going to be at the PGA show. I already have some things planned. We'll be back meeting with Flight Scope. We're going to meet with some other companies. So if you have any ideas, anything you need, leave that comment down below. And as always, thank you, everybody, for a great year. Have a happy new year, safe new year. We'll see you then, 2023. Peace.